One of the biggest challenges for the no reading strategy is the double passage because there's a lot of jumping around and it feels like difficult to get through these questions without having read both the passages. And look, if you feel like the no reading strategy falls apart for you on this passage, then you can always read. That's the best part of the no reading strategy is that you can always read more. However, if we practice with the SAT and we practice with the no reading strategy, a lot of things become clear because we start to recognize the patterns that the SAT follows. This first question is a good example where you might think, well, this seems like I need to read the entire first passage because it seems like it doesn't have a line reference. It's the first question for the passage. But with experience, I know that this is probably just a no line reference question, which is slightly different from a main idea whole passage question because this has a specific spot where I can find the answer. And so I just need to figure out where that spot is. And a lot of times we can just skim. Now this is the first one, it's probably near the beginning, but also the reason I know this is they're asking about something very specific. Specific questions have specific lines where you can find the answer. That's what makes this a no line reference question in my mind. And so I would start by just looking for this answer at the beginning and seeing what I find. If I need to read a lot, then so be it. But if I find it quickly, even better. So if I look for anything about the resources and immensity of the United States, this is the entire first passage, but we'd start at the beginning. And it says, it is a noble land. Well, that sounds like we're now talking about the United States, that God has given us a land that is that can feed and clothe the world, a land whose coastlines would enclose half the countries of Europe. So it's big, it's immense, as the question says. Um, a land that set like a sentinel between the two imperial oceans of the globe, a greater England with a nobler destiny. Okay, let's just stop there. That seems like it checks off a lot of boxes. It talks about the resources, feeding and clothing. It talks about how big it is. And what does it say? It says that God has given it to us. So that matches pretty perfectly with C, which is the answer, a divine gift to the American people. So notice, this wasn't about the whole passage. Sure, reading the entire first passage wouldn't have hurt us, but why do more work than you need to? We can assume that this is about specific lines because it's asking such a specific question. We can also assume it's near the beginning because it's the first question, and sure enough, that's exactly where we find our answer, and we're pretty confident in it. As far as the other answers are concerned, they never talk really about invasion. They're saying that it's better than Europe, not the same, not a replication of Europe. And yeah, maybe other people are jealous of Americans. We hear that on cable news a lot, but that's not what these lines are saying. They're saying it's given by God, therefore it is divine. That's it. So, so far, the no reading strategy is not really thrown off by the double passage. We're treating this like we would any regular passage we know it's a no line reference question, so we go to the beginning and we look for the lines that have the answer, and once we find them, it's pretty obvious. That's a standard thing.